Hello guys and welcome to the first Halloween week video. I went completely impromptu. I did not plan on doing actually like anything Halloween related. Then I decided I wanted to do 15 Halloween looks for Instagram only. And then I decided, hey, I really want to film some and include them in a mini Halloween week. For this first one, I wanted to focus on really easy Halloween makeup that looks like it's harder than it really is. Both of the looks in this video only require two or three products. And the best part is that you can really use your imagination. You don't have to recreate it exactly. You can use whatever colors you want. You can use whatever accessories you want. So it can really be unique to you. I hope you guys enjoy this first tutorial of a pointillism skull and of the melted lady. I'm gonna start with sharing my pointillism, pointillism? I'm not sure how you say that word, but this is my pointillism skull, which basically is a skull look, and instead of using actual sharp lines, I'm using little dots. It's inspired by Charlotte's looks on Instagram. She's so talented. Definitely give her a follow if you need some inspo. All right, we're gonna start with moisturizing our face because it, it's always a good idea to start with moisturizing your face whenever you're doing any kind of look. I'm going to add a very brightening base. So this is a Chanel base that no one really, I think, needs. I just have it and I want to use it up. So it does help to make your face extremely bright. And since it's going to be basically a white backdrop, it's going to work really well. Make sure you get it on your neck, of course. Um, and then before foundation, I'm going to take some soap and run them through my brows because eventually I'm going to cover up the brows with foundation on top so I just want to make sure that they're flat and the soap really helps to get them pretty flat. Going in with a ColourPop foundation stick. This is a super super light color. I didn't want to use white paint for this for some reason but you can if you want to. I'm gonna go in with a brush that's got really packed bristles because that's perfect for this foundation and then I'm going to cover up the first layer of this foundation. Old school YouTuber style, um, there's a flat concealer brush that I'm going to use to cover up the brows just because that other brush is a little too big. And then take it down the neck and add another layer because it was not thick enough. Alright, going in with that brush again, this honestly just looks really creepy by itself because of the dark circles showing up underneath. Going in with another look, as you can see I'm kind of like stamping the brush in instead of um, swiping it off. And then I'm covering everything with a light coating of the Makeup Forever HD powder. This gives you white flashback, which is why most people don't use it, but it's perfect for this look. All right, setting that with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Wow, look at how clean this palette is. By the end of this video, you're gonna be like, wow, that palette is messy. Anyway, I'm going in with little dots and I'm actually feeling my skin to see where my actual skull bones shape is going to be. I know that may sound a little bit weird, but I wanted to make sure I get kind of the right place. So I felt for where the hollows of my eyes would be and then I went over and made little dots. Um, not particularly very neat because I was just mapping the area out in this part and not making like the final final strokes this is just so i kind of have an outline of what to do and then just making sure i can feel where everything is before adding the line we are starting with the very traditional skull Esque shape. So usually you'll see the teeth on any of the traditional skulls that you do. So I'm basically just making a U and doing little, little dots. So just using a really fine detail brush, I'm just going in and um, making little teeth all along the top. And then lining at the bottom so I can start uh, doing the teeth at the bottom as well. Really simple, you're gonna do the same thing that you did at the top, but you're just going to use the opposite. So you're gonna do an upside down U, I guess. And then I'm covering the rest of the face with um, little dots where the teeth will not go. Honestly, this can be kind of therapeutic if you have a lot of time.
and really the rest of the look there's no real like craziness to it all you have to do is just take your fine detail brush pick the color that you want and then just fill every area that you created with little tiny dots you can use whatever color you want to i wanted to do red for this one because that was like the theme i was doing for that row on instagram but whatever color you want it's you can go for you could do black make it really cool simply just moving on to the eyes and covering it all up this part was a little difficult because I wanted to cover a lot of it, but I didn't want it to show. And I'm also making sure I'm using the brush at the very, very end so it's not like, so that you don't get a huge deposit of the thing on and you can continue to make the little tiny dots. And I'm also taking it down my neck, trying to follow as much of my natural structure as I can. And then I'm covering the teeth with little white dots just so that they look more like teeth, I guess, so that they shine more. And that's it. That's literally all you had to do. And this look is complete. So pretty easy. You just need a little bit of time, a fine detail brush, and like two different colors and you're good. You can do whatever you want. All right, next we're moving on to the Melted Lady. So this was a really cool and unique idea that I found on Miss Desi Perkins Instagram. She did this look and she was inspired by this artist, um, Della De Deso, who is incredibly talented. This looks super cool because you can do any type of take that you want. So I wanted to do this blue and red thing. Um, so there was my little sketch of it. And then I just sat down to do it. I used the blue in my Maron palette and using like one of the big foundation brushes. This one's from Real Techniques. I used that to cover all over and then made sure that my, you know, lips were clean. I added a little bit of red uh, liquid lipstick. This is the lip paint by Fenty Beauty. And then I used black from the palette to line the lips and then create little lines to make the lips look a little bit more 3D-ish, a little bit more popping out. And then instead of using a white powder on this, I took some blue eyeshadow from the ColourPop Blue Moon palette, which is one of my favorite palettes. It works for so many of my looks. And I put that all over the face. And then I used a lighter blue from that same palette to kind of create um, this sunken effect with the eyes. And then I just kind of covered the whole socket with that. And then right on the lid, we created another eye. So I used some white paint and then mapped out the shape of the eye on both sides. Make sure that you're looking down in the mirror and then comparing the two because you want to make sure they're relatively the same size. Then I took some uh, black paint, you can use a liquid liner, and then just did the liner, don't know what I'm doing there. And then uh, later on using the fine detail brush and that black liquid, I started to do the eyebrows and then the little drips, which were super easy. I also went through and I lined the features of the face that I wanted to show, so like and then I continued making the little drips. So like little use, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. You can really do whatever you want, which is the beauty of this look. You don't really have to, you know, be very precise and you can do whatever colors you want, however many drips. Some people did very few, some people like me did a lot, um, but whatever you wanna do, super easy. Really is just your imagination for this look, which I absolutely love. I'm taking a makeup wipe and I'm just removing parts of the lips and then I'm look making it look like the blue skin is dripping over the lips and then I'm covering any parts that didn't get covered originally. Adding some sunglasses, some hair, and a beret to style it. You can also style it whichever way you want. And that's it, you're also done with this look. Doesn't even take that long. You can use your own creativity and it's definitely a spin. So thank you Desi Perkins for making that a possibility for all of us. And those were the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope that they can be easy to implement for your Halloween look. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you want to, you can subscribe for more videos. I will see you soon with another video. Bye.